Have you ever wondered what the Star of Bethlehem was? A celestial enigma that has sparked curiosity and speculation for centuries, the Star of Bethlehem, or the Christmas Star as it's often called, is a fascinating mystery that continues to captivate us. This star, mentioned in the book of Matthew, is described as a radiant beacon that appeared at the birth of Jesus, guiding wise men to his location. Its brilliance and timing have led many to believe this was no ordinary star, but rather a cosmic event of great significance. Over the years, astronomers and scholars have proposed various theories to explain this phenomenon. Some have suggested it could have been a supernova, an exploding star that could have briefly outshone all others in the night sky. Others have proposed it might have been a comet, an icy body from the outer solar system that can develop a glowing tail as it approaches the sun. Yet another theory is that it was a solar flare, an eruption of intense high-energy radiation from the sun's surface. Or perhaps it was a planetary alignment, a rare event where several planets line up in the sky, sometimes creating a particularly bright point of light. However, each of these theories has its challenges. For instance, a meteor or supernova, while spectacular, would have streaked across the sky and faded quickly. And there's no evidence of a supernova remnant that matches the timing of the Christmas star. Similarly, a comet, while potentially visible for weeks, was often seen as an omen of doom in ancient times, making it unlikely to have been interpreted as a herald of a joyous birth. So, if it wasn't a meteor or supernova, what could the star of Bethlehem have been? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the theories surrounding this celestial mystery in the next scenes. Could the star of Bethlehem have been a comet? This question has sparked the imaginations of astronomers and historians alike. When we delve into historical records, we find mentions of comets streaking across the sky around the same time as Jesus' birth. Intriguing, isn't it? Comets, celestial bodies composed of ice and rock, have long been a source of fascination. As they zoom through our solar system, they leave a trail of dust and gas, forming a brilliant tail that lights up the night sky. This spectacle would certainly fit the description of a bright star leading the way. But here's where things get a bit complicated. In the ancient world, the appearance of a comet was often interpreted as a bad omen. From the Romans to the Chinese, civilizations across the globe viewed these celestial harbingers with a mix of awe and dread. They were believed to foretell events of great significance, but more often than not, these events were disasters, calamities, and upheaval. Now picture the wise men, the magi, looking up at the night sky. Would they have followed a comet, a symbol of doom and gloom, to find the newborn king? It seems unlikely. The star of Bethlehem, as described in the book of Matthew, was seen as a joyful sign, a beacon heralding the birth of Jesus. A comet, with its ominous implications, doesn't quite fit this narrative. So while the timing of comets appearing during that period adds a fascinating layer to our investigation, the cultural beliefs surrounding them make this theory a bit less likely. But don't let this dampen your curiosity. The night sky still holds many secrets, and one of them might just unravel the mystery of the Star of Bethlehem. Comets being seen as bad omens makes this theory less likely. So what's another possibility? Could the Star of Bethlehem have been a conjunction of planets? This is a question that has intrigued astronomers and scholars alike for centuries. The theory of a planetary conjunction, a celestial event where two or more celestial bodies align in the sky, has been put forth as a possible explanation. To understand this theory, let's look at a recent event that made headlines. In 2020, a rare phenomenon known as the Great Conjunction occurred, where Jupiter and Saturn aligned so closely that they appeared as a single bright object in the night sky. This event led some to refer to it as the Christmas star, due to its resemblance to the biblical star of Bethlehem. But could a similar event have taken place around 2000 years ago? Some astronomers think so. Historical records indicate that in 7 BC, Jupiter and Saturn had three conjunctions in the same constellation. This trio of conjunctions would have been a noteworthy event for ancient astrologers, who often attach significant meaning to such celestial happenings. Moreover, in 3 BC, Jupiter and Venus had a close encounter in the sky that could have resembled the Christmas star. This conjunction would have appeared as a very bright object, possibly even brighter than the Great Conjunction of 2020. 
Could this have been the star of Bethlehem that the wise men followed? It's compelling to think that these ancient astrologers with their meticulous observations of the night sky might have interpreted these conjunctions as signs of monumental events on Earth. However, it's important to remember that these are theories, interpretations of events that occurred over two millennia ago. While the conjunction theory is intriguing, it still leaves us with no definitive answer. Yet it continues to inspire our curiosity and our desire to understand the mysteries of the universe, reminding us that even the stars have stories to tell. So what was the Star of Bethlehem? This question has been a subject of debate and fascination for centuries. We've explored the comet theory and the conjunction theory, each with its own merits and challenges. The comet theory posits that the Star of Bethlehem could have been a comet, as there were records of comets around the same time. But there's a snag with this theory. Comets were usually seen as omens of doom in ancient times, making it unlikely that the wise men would have interpreted it as a sign of a blessed event like the birth of Jesus. On the other hand, the conjunction theory suggests that the star could have been a rare alignment of planets, much like the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn in 2020. In 7 BC, Jupiter and Saturn had three conjunctions in the same constellation, and in 3 BC, Jupiter and Venus had a close encounter that resembled the Christmas star. Ancient astrologers would have likely noted these events and attached significant meaning to them. But here's the catch. The exact dates of these events don't perfectly match the commonly accepted timeline of Jesus' birth. So we're left with a cosmic conundrum. While modern science can provide us with possible explanations, none of them fit neatly into the historical and religious context. The true nature of the Star of Bethlehem remains a mystery. Was it a comet, a planetary conjunction, or something else entirely? We may never know. This uncertainty, however, only adds to the intrigue. The Star of Bethlehem, a tiny point of light in the vast night sky, has sparked countless debates, inspired numerous works of art, and led to many scientific investigations. Despite the lack of a definitive answer, it continues to be a symbol of hope and wonder, a celestial mystery that has endured for over 2,000 years. The Star of Bethlehem, while shrouded in mystery, continues to capture our imagination and curiosity. The Star of Bethlehem, a guiding light in the night sky, remains an unsolved puzzle in astronomy. Throughout this journey, we've traversed through time, theories, and celestial possibilities, yet the mystery persists. We started by exploring the comet theory, a tantalizing possibility given the records of comets around the birth of Jesus. However, the association of comets with omens of doom in ancient times makes it unlikely that the wise men would have seen it as a sign of a blessed event. We then ventured into the intriguing world of conjunctions. This theory suggests that the Star of Bethlehem could have been a planetary alignment, much like the Great Conjunction in 2020. The close encounter of Jupiter and Venus in 3 BC and the three conjunctions of Jupiter and Saturn in 7 BC certainly makes this a compelling speculation. Ancient astrologers would have likely noticed and attributed meaning to these events. While these theories provide possible explanations for the Star of Bethlehem, we are reminded that the universe still has secrets tucked away in its vast expanse. Despite our advanced technology and deep understanding of the cosmos, the Star of Bethlehem continues to elude us, a reminder of the mysteries that still await our discovery. As we wrap up, let's not forget that it's the spirit of curiosity that keeps us reaching for the stars, treading the path of the unknown, always in search of answers. The Star of Bethlehem, whether a comet, a conjunction, or an entirely different celestial event, serves as a beacon of this exploration, this thirst for knowledge. As we continue to gaze at the stars and explore the cosmos, we keep the spirit of curiosity alive, ever hopeful to unravel the mysteries of our universe. Until next time, keep looking up.